Hi everyone, welcome to my allotment. Today is the day my first Bokashi bin has finished fermenting. And by that I mean it's been sitting outside for two weeks, sealed, and all the little microbes in there have done their job and made it ready for further composting. So we're now entering stage two of Bokashi composting. So the, the bin is not smelly. You can imagine if you put all chicken, chicken, all kitchen waste into a bucket, seal it, and you open it two weeks later, that it would smell something foul. But because you add this bran that's been enriched with um, good microorganisms that will start working on the components in there, uh, it prevents it from decaying. So instead it goes into fermentation. So when you open the bin, instead of smelling like sewage it, it, or an old bin stood in the sun, it actually smells slightly sour, fruity, you know, a bit like home brewing. So that's a delight. So my plan is to combine it with one of my big normal garden waste compost that I have. So it's been turned already several months ago and I'd say it's ready to use. However, I have no use for a large amount of compost at the moment. So I am uh, I'm a no digger, which means I spread a lot of compost once a year on my beds, which is in winter. So I'd like to keep this until winter. And by adding Bokashi to it now during the year, I will A, uh, create more matter, which you always want, and B, enrich it even further. So I have three bays of composting. The first one is the one I'm filling right now, so all the green waste I'm generating on the allotment is going in there and some brown stuff as well. The second one is the one I've, I've been turned earlier. And then the last one closest to here is empty, well it's empty of compost, um, it's full of crap. So first, 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 I have to empty all that and then I'm gonna put some of the finished compost over into that one, put the Bokashi in and then cover it again. So this combination of compost with Bokashi starts the, the last stage uh, and will break down all the material in the Bokashi bin until it's all the brown good stuff, you know. So I thought I'd uh, let you watch me sweat a bit. It's another hot day on the allotment. It's um, five o'clock so the sun is quite low so I hope uh, <laughs> I hope it doesn't get in my eyes but yeah so I'm gonna welcome you to the fuggly bit of my allotment and uh, I hope you enjoy. If you're new to my channel remember to subscribe and if you like this video give it a thumbs up. That up. I do like it looks hot. I can't remember. Did I have one of these and I threw it away? Put it in the compost bin? Though my neighbour does put stuff in as well. So maybe she put in one of these. So, the 
this is what it looks like now. Uh, I can't say I'm the best compost maker in the world. It mainly can't get the brown and green in the right, you know, the, the right um, concentration. Oh, I actually got another plant over there. It's pretty funny. So we'll see what it looks like. So this is the bottom. I've got a uh, netting down here just to know where the bottom is as well as trying to keep like rodents out or whatever but we'll see so i've got some volunteer potatoes growing in here <laughs> so i thought we'd see what it looks like um more of that. Yeah. There's a whole little clump. All right. So we have, oh, funny way of growing. One potato there. Ha. Uh, right. So it's growing from below. This one is growing from over there. Well, it'll be interesting to see if we get any potatoes. Right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take some of this and put it at the bottom here, and then I'm gonna put the bokashi on top of that, and then put some more of this on. And then I'm gonna do that continuously with all my bokashi. So the bokashi is just over there. And my new one <laughs> is stood here, starting to ferment from today. So yeah, pretty excited, we'll see how we go. Ah, but first I forgot, I'm going to put some plastic around on the inside of the pallets to act as an insulator or protect from, um, not protect, but uh, keep the heat in. I'm not sure it's going to get hot, but I want to do this to all the three bays, so I might as well start now that it's empty. Uh, so I'm going to go get my staple gun. what it looks like now uh, yeah I could have gone a bit higher but that was what I had all right let's uh, see if we can pull out these potatoes oh This is the danger. When you move your compost, you disturb all the slow worms. I've seen a grass snake in here as well in the past. <laughs> right, well, might find some potatoes further down. So be it. All right, let's get shoveling. Right, so it's time to get the bukashi and uh, spread that above on top of that layer. So I just thought I'd show you what it looks like. So all the bits are still there after two weeks. And you can put in, as I say, everything cooked food, cooked meat, bones, chicken bones. The bigger bones I wouldn't put in, you'd have to make them smaller first. But this will then break down in another four or so weeks with another layer of the compost on top. And uh, yeah, and I'll just keep going through the year. And we'll see then in winter what it looks like. It's probably going to be amazing. Right, 
So all that's left to do is to uh, clean out the Bokashi bin and all you need to do is just rinse it with water. It doesn't smell so uh, that's it's not a problem. You don't want to use detergent because that can then kill off some of the the uh, the microflora that you're adding with the bran and you don't want that. You don't want any residue of detergent in there. So we're going to do that. Give that a rinse. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I can give you an update in two weeks time when I have my other Bokashi bin ready and we can have a dig around and see what it looks like at the state of decomposition. And uh, this, uh, these bins were donated or gifted, I should say, from the compostguy.co.uk or Adam and I'm very grateful for that. There's still a discount code that you can use on his website for the Bokashi bin starter kit and that is allotment for life 10 and that gives you 10 pounds off so i'll finish there and i'll say happy composting and happy growing and i hope to see you next time